Hey guys, Jamie Dudum, back here at Dudum Chiropractic. Topic today, carpal tunnel syndrome, pain in the wrist, thumb, and index finger. As we do many, many more corporate events here, we're getting a lot of patients come with carpal tunnel syndrome, so I want to break it down for you. You've got two nerves that travel down the wrist and the forearm, one on the pinky side called the radial nerve. The second is on the thumb side, it's called the median nerve. Now why that's important is the nerve travels through your wrist joint and your wrist joint has 10 bones. They're really, they're about the size of pebbles, they're really small or a dime and they're called carpal bones. They allow, our, they're great because they allow our wrist to be very flexible back and forth. Here's the problem. When you're at the computer for eight hours a day, your wrists are bent over or you're at the mouse, you're there eight hours a day, five days a week, years and years, these carpal bones don't move very well. They, they limit full range of motion. When that happens, they squeeze and irritate that median nerve that runs into your thumb pad, your thumb, and your index finger. So the symptoms of carpal tunnel are crystal clear. You're gonna get pain in the thumb pad or numbness, also numbness tingling in the thumb and sometimes into the index finger. That's carpal tunnel. If we backtrack a little bit, the median nerve runs down here. So the median nerve can also get caught in one of your forearm muscles. It's called the pronator teres. Because we do a lot of work like this or mouse work, sometimes the entrapment site is here in the pronator teres. So if you or any one of your friends have had a carpal tunnel surgery that failed, here's why. They went and they released the nerve here. The problem is the nerve was being pinched at the pronator teres. So we've got to do a full exam to figure out is the entrapment coming here or here? Now, if there's any pain in the forearm, the entrapment's probably coming here. There's no way it's coming from down below the wrist. So again, the full exam will tell us, is it the carpal bones or is it the pronator teres that's causing the thumb pad pain index and thumb weakness or numbness? So the solution is very simple. If you have true carpal tunnel, we're gonna get in there and open up these joints, release a lot of the tension that's on that nerve. When we do that, numbness and tingling goes away. We're also gonna do some muscle work in the forearm and wrist, understanding that you're doing this a lot throughout the day. So the solution is very simple, and that's why we do what we do, and we get the results that we get, because we find the right starting point. So if you or anyone that you know is suffering from carpal tunnel, I'd love to take a look, talk to them, see if and how we can help them out, so they can be happy and healthy. Again, I'm J.D. Dudum with Dudum Chiropractic. Thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.